Hello, my name is Nathan, and you're watching the Unlocking Data in SCM YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can manage your inventory to achieve better service for your customers while still minimizing your inventory holding costs. Right after this. So the silver bullet of inventory management is having a good demand forecast. And that's because reducing the uncertainty in the system is going to allow you to reduce your inventory, which will also allow you to reduce your inventory holding cost. So let's dive into it right now with this dashboard. The first thing you need to do is define your ordering cycle to your suppliers or your sources. And there are a couple of different ways that you can do that. The first is to use the expected transportation lead time, or you can use a recurring frequency like the lead time associated with the expected EOQ, that's the economic order quantity, or you can use daily for the fastest moving products or weekly or monthly for the slow, more slowly moving products. But however you select your ordering cycle, the same concepts that I'm going to be talking about apply. So once you've defined your ordering cycle, you'll want to forecast the demand over the cycle. So in this view, we show an expected cycle demand forecast. And we also have two expected standard deviations for that forecast. One based on a worse demand forecast and one based on a better demand forecast. So the reason I'm showing this is just to show how much savings you can realize by having a better demand forecast. But once you have the expected demand and the expected standard deviation in demand, you can use the safety stock formulas to identify the expected safety stock you need to achieve a defined cycle service level. So right now we've defined a cycle service level percent target of 90%. So that's 90% probability that we will not stock out in the next cycle. And this is a strategic decision that you can choose based on what makes sense for your business strategy. Once you've calculated the safety stocks required, you can look at the reorder policies. So if you look at this view right here, anything that's below 10% probability of stock out in the next cycle, we have a holding a hold policy. And anything that's above 10% probability of stock out, we have a reorder policy. And again, that's based on our cycle service level percent target as defined up here. So if we have a lower cycle service percent target, the holding policies are going to be more liberal. And if we have a higher cycle service level target, the reorder policies will be more conservative. But that will also lead to higher inventory holding costs because of more safety stock in the supply chain. Once you've defined the reorder policies, you can use the safety stock recommendations and the current stock to calculate the recommended reorder quantity. So the restock target is just the sum of the recommended safety stock plus the expected cycle demand. And the difference between that and the current stock is the recommended reorder quantity. So the idea is that you would calculate this information over 
the specified ordering cycles and feed it to the respective decision makers so that they can make the best decisions to achieve the defined service level targets while still keeping inventory holding costs low. And this view shows how an improved demand forecast can result in savings in inventory holding costs over the course of a year. So that's how you can manage your inventory to achieve better service for your customers while reducing your holding costs. If you have any questions about this or any other supply chain data visualization or modeling question, uh, feel free to comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon.